Get up, Greeny's here, Harry Douglas is here, Dan Orlovsky is with us, and ESPN's Top 100 Players list came out this week, and it was fascinating. Let's show you what was up at the very top. Number one, no surprise, the Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, is in that top spot. Justin Jefferson is two, and thus the top-rated non-quarterback. And then it got interesting as we rank the rest of the quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts atop the list with Joe Burrow checking in a slot behind him and Josh Allen down at number seven. And it's always interesting when we start analyzing where the quarterbacks belong in this order. Dan Orlovsky, what did you think of Hurts as the second best QB ahead of Josh Allen and Joe Burrow? Y'all make me the bad guy, huh? Jalen's a great player. He had an unbelievable season. He's not a better quarterback than Joe Burrow and Josh Allen. I, I, I just like I sit here and I watch Joe Burrow and Josh Allen and, and Jalen Hurts. And if you just take last year and and just two di different ways to measure it. One, did you watch the games and just watch the players play? And you would sit there and go, my gosh, Joe Burrow is the second best at worst quarterback in football. I said last year I thought he was playing quarterback best. Last year, Joe Burrow counts for 45 touchdowns and 4,800 yards. Last year, Josh Allen accounts for 42 touchdowns and 5,000 yards. Last year, Jalen Hurts, un unbelievable season, 35 touchdowns, 4,500 yards. So I'm not taking anything away from Jalen. But Joe Burrow is the second-best quarterback in football, okay? And Josh Allen absolutely deserves to be that third-best spot. That doesn't take anything away from Jalen, but it's hard for me to put him ahead of Joe Burrow. <laughs> what do you think, Harry? I got to agree with Dan. Uh, when I look at a guy like Joe Burrow who maneuvers the pocket, a little bit more athletic than a lot of people give him credit for, a guy that took nine sacks in a playoff game versus the Tennessee Titans – but his demeanor didn't change at all. He was still cool, calm, and collected and was able to lead his team to a victory in that year. Actually went to the Super Bowl, but then followed up that year with a AFC championship appearance. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just can't put Jalen Hurts at number two. And I love everything about Jalen Hurts and where he's ascending as a quarterback. But Joe Burrow's my number two. Now, when we start to get to the Josh Allen conversation, there's a quarterback that I would take over Josh Allen, honestly. I'm taking Aaron Rodgers over Josh Allen. Because, now we're talking. Because it's about protecting the football to me. And when I look at a guy like Aaron Rodgers, and we look at his two years back-to-back -back where he won the MVP, 85 touchdowns and nine interceptions. Taking care of the football, I value that as a human being when I'm watching the game of football. Uh, Josh Allen is a phenomenal quarterback, but I'm taking Aaron Rodgers over him. I value it as a human being, too. In fact, let's get to the area of this that I think deserved the most attention. Show me the rest of the quarterbacks up there. Justin Herbert round out the top five. You're going to see some of the other names. These are just the quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson checked in at six. Trevor Lawrence checked in at seven. Aaron Rodgers <laughs> checked in at eight in what can only be described as one of the great acts of disrespect, perhaps in the history of sports conversation as we know it. Dan Orlovsky, are there seven better quarterbacks in the NFL than Aaron Rodgers right now? Greeny. <laughs> who voted for this? Who at our uh, company voted for this? I know. You, you find out who. You tell them to bring me their badge. Mm. They no longer <laughs> are allowed in, on premises. No. No, there's not seven better quarterbacks than Aaron Rodgers in the NFL. I don't care. Uh, what happened last year? I, I, if we just had to put these guys out there and everyone gets to work with the same kind of stuff around them talent-wise, no one, I don't think on planet Earth outside of maybe Patrick, is going to throw the ball better than, than Aaron Rodgers. So what do you think of that? I don't yeah. know who voted on it. I don't believe it was me. Uh, he ain't the best eighth best quarterback in football. Nope. What do you think? I'm from Atlanta, and there's an artist called Ludacris. Okay. Now, whoever made that list is damn ludicrous. <laughs> it's a ludicrous. This, this, um, this is unbelievable because Aaron Rodgers is a guy, if there's one quarterback, and I love all the quarterbacks I played with in the National Football League, mm -hmm. but if there's one guy I wish I had an opportunity to play with, it was Aaron Rodgers. We used to sit in our meeting room and watch tape on the different throws he would make Rolling to the left, on a line, on the dart, 50, 60 yards in the air, scramble drills, how Jordy Nelson and those guys used to get freebies because of the arm talent of Aaron Rodgers at the quarterback position. So uh, 
who, whoever voted for this, I'm with Dan. I, I agree with you, Dan. We, we got we got to bring we me gotta, the badge. We got to check bring, them, man. Bring the badge. Here's what I would say about it: is that it, it, it is very reactive to one season. Aaron Rodgers had a down season. He fell way down That's the list. Jalen Hurts had a brilliant season. He, he vaulted way up on the list. All that is fine if you were just taking last season as your only basis. Uh, but Aaron Rodgers deserves to be much higher, and I think we'll see. If Jalen Hurts does it again this year, then, then perhaps he cements himself at number two. Don't forget, you can watch Get Up every weekday morning on ESPN between 8 and 10 a.m. Eastern. And stay tuned for more exclusive Get Up content on YouTube as well.